Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So excited to have you here today guys. And for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 12 DIYs that you can do using candle holders from Dollar Tree. They have so many different candle holders that you can choose from to create projects and decor pieces for your home. Once you watch the entire video, let me know in the comments which of these 12 ideas is one of your favorites. And guys, I hope that you are ready because I am. Let's DIY together. Okay, for this project, I'm going to be using these glass containers that I get from Dollar Tree. I think they are new. I never seen them before and I love them. I got two of them um, and I'm also going to be using these candle holder um, from Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using one of the glass containers and I'm going to stick it with um, E6000 to make sure that it sticks super strong and also with hot glue just to make sure that dries faster and I'm going to stick these two pieces together. And for the next glass container, I'm going to be using some of, the, some of this blue tape from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cover um, like a third part and I'm going to try to make like a line to paint only the bottom part of these glass containers. So I'm going to cover the rest and the top of the glass container with this tape. This is the color that I choose, is Spanish Moss um, in a matte finish and I really, really, really love this color. So I'm going to go outside and paint these. Well, I just give it one coat of paint. So this is how my two glass containers and the one with the um, candle holder looks like. Now it is time to add some details. And I'm going to be using these laser cut crafts icons that I get from Dollar Tree and I really like them. They come in different designs and I got this one that looks like leaves or flowers um, so I'm going to be adding some U-twine on the top of my glass container and then I'm going to be adding a little bit of hot glue to be able to hang my um, craft icon and this is how these projects turn out I actually changed the leads um, I put the clear one on the container that has the candle holder and um, yeah this is how my project turned out you can add a candle inside if you want and you can add these to any space maybe in the bathroom that's where I'm going to be putting these pieces um, and I love how they turn out using this round box that I found in the potty section from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using only the lid I like that it's round um, and it's different so I'm going to be using these mineral shock paint um, and I'm going to give it one coat of paint because I need a vase I can work with all those colors so I'm going to give it one coat of paint and then let it dry Once the lid is dry, I'm going to be using the same paint, the Waverly Shock Paint, and I'm going to mix it with baking soda because I need my paint a little bit like thicker um, because I want to give the lid some texture. So I'm going to be adding the baking soda, mix all together, and, and then I'm going to be adding that paint on the top of the lid in this way to make sure that my lid is going to have texture. Once it is dry, this is how it looks and I love it. It looks like concrete. I want to make like a small riser. So I'm going to be using this candle holder from Dollar Tree. It is black. I think it's perfect just like that. So I'm going to be sticking that on the bottom part of this lid with hot glue. And that way I'm going to have my riser. And I love how it looks. This is the result. I think it looks super cute. It was so inexpensive. I only spent like $2 because I already have the paint. Um, and I have a cute like concrete riser for my home. Thank you. 
for this next project I'm going to be using one of these candle holders from Dollar Tree you can use any one that you have at home and also I'm going to be using this container with lead that you can get on the kitchen section at Dollar Tree I really like this container I love the shape it has and what I'm going to be doing is to stick these two pieces together with hot glue um, maybe you can use um, a stronger glue like E6000 to make sure that it's going to stick well Once I have my piece all stick together and it's dry, I'm going to be using my spray paint. And again, I'm going to be using this True Navy color. I really like this color. I think it's now perfect for summer. Um, and you can use it now too for fall if you want. Um, so yeah, I'm going to spray paint this outside. I'm going to give it one or two coats of paint. And then I'm going to let it dry. Once it is dry, it's all about you. You can um, decorate it as you want. I'm going to be using some Spanish moss and I'm going to add that on the bottom. And then I'm going to be using these olive branches that you can get from Amazon. Guys, you can use maybe flowers, any greenery that you have. I just think that the olives branches looks amazing and they are so trendy right now. And I got mine from Amazon. I think it was the best deal I can find. And of course, I'm going to leave you the link of that in the description box. In in case you want or need some olive branches guys this is how my project turned out really beautiful on a budget it looks amazing and it's perfect for your kitchen or maybe your dining table next project i'm going to be using this round circle wooden plaque that i get from walmart only 97 cents and i really love to work with these wooden plaques and i'm going to be removing this table with these tape staple remover i think that's the name of this tool anyways you can get the link in the description box i get it from amazon and it works so good so yeah i'm going to be removing that and then i'm going to be um painting these using stain my special one note um stain color that i love and then i'm going to let it dry once this piece is dry this is the color this is how it looks and i like it a lot so i decide to add a candle holder that i get from a dollar tree it's black i love the color and um how modern it looks so i'm going to be sticking these to the bottom of the wooden plaque with some hot glue if you want it to stick stronger you can use e6000 glue okay now that i have this cake stand and i like it a lot i want to add a lid to it so i'm going to be using this clear glass bowl that i get from dollar tree and i like it a lot i made one of these before but the bowl was white this time it's clear i think it looks more realistic so i'm going to be using this for the lid and for the top you can add something else to make it look a little bit better so for that i like to use this small piece of wood i'm going to be using that for the top and then you can add something else like this wooden cup to make it look a little bit better so i'm going to be sticking that to the top and then i'm going to be staining this with the same special one stain and then let it dry first i was so excited about how it looks and how the wooden cap looks but i think it needs something else so i decided to remove the wooden cap to add this faux leather ribbon from dollar tree i cut a small piece and i add hot glue and then i stick it on the top this is going to make this project look so much more i think different and modern at the same time and, and it's going to add another type of texture which is what i love i love to make projects with a lot of texture i don't love a lot of colors on my project but i am a big fan of textures so i like to add those on my projects and this is a big example of that and i love how it turned out For 
this project you're going to need one candle holder Dollar Tree right now have so many options this one is white and I'm also going to be using some spray paint I'm going to be using this camouflage from Rustroleum and I really like it I really love the color this is one of my favorite colors um, and I decided to do something really fun I'm going to be adding this spray paint in a bowl with water and what I'm trying is to create kind of like a marble look so in order to do that you have to add the spray paint color on your water and then you have to add the candle holder into the water super slowly and the spray paint that you add to the water is going to stick on your candle holder I add the spray paint but it did not cover the whole candle holder so I just add a little bit more and then I covered the rest of the candle holder and I don't know if it was because because of these type of spray paint it looks more rustic than like a marble look but I still like it let me know in the comments what you think about this technique then I'm going to be using these glass bowls that you can get on the kitchen section and I really like it because it's clear and, and I think you have so many possibilities with these I decided to add these on the top of the candle holder and I'm going to be using some hot glue to stick it but you can use maybe E6000 to make sure that it sticks stronger then you can add a candle on top you can add some greenery this is like a small piece of garland that I have you have so many options you maybe can add some some decorative bowls or something like that and I think it's going to look amazing on any part of your home really easy to do and it's on a budget going to be using these black candle holders that I get from Dollar Tree they have candle holders in different shapes um, and colors I decided to get this ones and I'm going to be putting two together to make like a taller um, candle holder and I'm going to be adding E6000 and hot glue to be able to stick them together and, and make sure that they are going to stay strong attached now as you can see where the candle holders join you can see a few gaps and you can fill them maybe with some sparkling I decide to use hot glue to fill those gaps you with the hot glue it's not going to look perfect but it doesn't matter because I'm going to paint these and you're not gonna be able to see that I'm going to be using these Weverly shock paint in hazelnut color and I'm going to paint these two candle holders I'm going to be using two one that is the taller one that has the two candle holders and the other one I'm going to be using just one like I said I'm going to paint them I'm going to give it two coats of paint in this color just to make sure that it's going to cover well Once I paint my candle holders, I'm going to be using my Weverly shock paint in plaster color and I'm going to be using these type of brushes. I'm going to add just a small amount of paint on my brush and I'm going to be making like the dry brush technique on my candle holders and this is going to add a distressed look to them. Once I was done painting my candle holders, this is how they look and I love them. Now it is time to add these glass tea light holders that I get from Dollar Tree. I love them. They look like, like a milk vase. I think they are new and I really like them. So, so I'm going to be removing all the stickers and I'm going to add a small dot of glue um, and I'm going to glue them to the top of my candle holders. now you can add a candle inside of these tea light holders but i decide to add this greenery so i'm going to be adding these one longer than the other one depending on how long my candle holders are and this is how my project turned out i love how it looks um you can make a set of two like i did or maybe a set of three these type of candle holders can cost a lot and you can do it using adultery items I just spent like five dollars to make these DIYs because I already have the paint
for this next project I'm going to be using this wooden um, circular plaque that I get from Walmart for like 97 cents I think um, but I'm pretty sure you can find something similar at Dollar Tree I'm also going to be using a candle holder you can find a candle holder from Dollar Tree I just have this one at home it's made out of wood and I really like it so I'm going to be reusing this one and I get it from Amazon I'm going to leave you the link in the description box of the video and I'm just going to stick these two pieces together and I already stained them with some wax in antique color. I'm going to be using this trifle container that you can get at the party section at Dollar Tree and I really like the shape and um, I just decided to do like a small make cover on this piece I'm going to be working like on the bottom part of it and I'm going to change the color I want to paint this black but before painting this black I just want to add like a small piece of cardboard just to make it look more like a lead hope that makes sense but basically I'm going to trace the shape that it has uh, on my piece of cardboard and then I'm going to cut it and then just stick it um, with some hot glue once I stick that I'm going to be painting that part of these triple container with some Waverly shock paint in black color I'm going to give it like two really good coats of paint let it dry and then I can remove the sticker Once I remove the tape, this is how it's looking and I just have to add these on the other part of this project and this is how this DIY turned out. You can create like a really nice cupcake stand out of this container and these pieces of wood and I just love it. It was so on a budget and it looks super cute and nice. You can add some cupcakes or maybe cookies inside and it's going to look beautiful on your kitchen. I will be using this glass candle vase from Dollar Tree. I have these for years and I just decided to use it for today's project along with a Dollar Tree glass candle holder. These are the ones that Dollar Tree always have and that you can get. I'm going to be gluing these two pieces with E6000 glue just to make it stronger and just a little bit of hot glue to make it dry faster. Now, I'm going to make another one of these vase using two Dollar Tree candle holders. These ones have a different color, but it is only because I'm going to be reusing them. And I'm going to glue them again with E6000 glue and hot glue, but you need to be very careful because this vase is a little bit higher, so you need to let this piece dry very well. I want everything have the same color so I decide to use my spray paint in black ultra matte color and paint everything and let it dry very well. Once they're dry this is how they will look and I just love them. They look amazing and you can put a candle inside of the vases but this time I'm going to be putting a piece of garland that I have left over from the first project. And I'm going to put one piece hanging from the large vase and just a few pieces on the other vase. Guys, this will be the result of this project and I just love the contrast of the colors. I think this is one of my favorite projects for today's video just because it looks amazing with a high-end looking using Dollar Tree items and some paint. going to be using this round box that you can get at Dollar Tree you have so many options in different like patterns over there so you can choose the ones that you like the most you need to remove the lid and then you can add a vase I'm going to be using this candle holder um, that I have I, I got it from Amazon and you 
can check the links in the description box and then on the top of the box just to make it look a little bit better and with a high end look i'm going to be using this leather uh faux leather ribbon that i got from dollar tree i'm going to stick that with hot glue um and then you can add foliage or greenery or berries flowers you have so many options and i think it turned out so so good you can add that to a tray and put these on the nightstands on your room and i think it's a really good budget friendly option and it looks amazing project i'm going to be using one of these dollar tree wood trays and you can paint it any color you want but i'm going to be using stain in a special walnut color and lately i'm obsessed with this tone um i just think it's beautiful and i really love it I'm also going to be using one of these glass candle holders from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it in black color with my spray paint. Once both pieces were dry, I'm going to glue the candle holder with hot glue under the wood tray. From there, I decided to use three of these red taper candles that come in a set of two and they're quite long so I decided to cut it in half all in the same size. From there, I will be using some E6000 glue and hot glue to stick the three taper candles on the tray and let them dry very well before starting to decorate. To decorate my tray, I'm going to start by using wire garland ties to fill all the spaces. Then I place several of these pine peaks that I have at home and I think that they are going to look much better on the tray. And then I place some berries and pine cones here and there to complete the look on this DIY. Once finished, I lit the candles and this will be the result. I love that it's perfect to place as my centerpiece in my dining room and I really love the colors and the high-end look. I'm going to be using this wooden star that I get from Dollar Tree and I think you can find these on the crafters square section all year round and I'm going to be using this one I think it's perfect for Christmas I'm going to be sanding all of the edges to make my wooden star a little bit smoother and then I need to cover the hole and to cover the hole you can use maybe some wood filler some sparkling I use I just use some hot glue and then I sand everything and it's going to look just fine and it's a little bit faster so once I have that part ready I'm going to spray paint my star with this metallic gold color I spray paint this outside and then let it dry this is how it looks now it's time to add a really nice touch I'm going to be using this candle holder that I have I get it from Amazon and I stained these already um, I'm going to leave you the link also in the description box just in case you are interested it comes in a set of four and it's really inexpensive I'm just going to stick these two pieces together you can add maybe some pine peaks or like just some foliage to make it look really cool and then i'm going to be adding a candle on top and this is it this is how this project turned out it's extremely easy and um, but it's going to add a really nice touch you can make a few of these in different sizes or maybe a set of three and it's going to look amazing and you can use these for so many celebrations and christmas and new jersey I 
will be using this glass cylinder vase from Dollar Tree or you can use any vase that you have and you like and I will also use artificial cypress pine picks um, you can get them from um, Dollar Tree or any holly bush that they sell on Dollar Tree and what I did was to cut some small pieces in different sizes and then I'm going to be gluing them with hot glue on the bottom of the vase once you have your vase ready and covered with these cypress pine peaks, you can give it um, some height to the vase by placing a candle holder. And this one is black and I got it from a Dollar Tree and I really like it, so I decided to glue it with hot glue to my vase. But if you want it to be stronger, you can use some E6000 glue. <laughs> To give this project a pop of red, I'm going to be using this um, red candle and I'm going to put it inside of the vase. But you could also put any white one um, if you are looking for something a little more neutral for these holidays. Once finished, you just have to light your candle and this will be the result. I really love it and I think it looks beautiful and delicate and I think it's perfect and cheap to make two. Um, and then place one on each side of your mantle and yeah, what do you think guys? Give me a big thumbs up if you like this idea. And please let me know in the comments which of these 12 DIYs with candle holders is your favorite. Let me know that in the comments, I'm going to be reading all of them. And make sure that you are subscribed to this channel remember to follow me on all my social media pages i have been posting photos and reels and shorts so make sure that you stay tuned because i'm going to be posting so many more and of course i'm going to leave you all of the links in the description box of this video and every single one thank you so much for the love and support and guys see you on my next video Mwah. bye